Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Hi Pyro, hi Han. We have a few things planned for today. Might as well start announcing it now. Actually no, first, how's everyone doing today? Let's check in. I'm gonna do like a just quick warm up map. And then we'll jump into what we're actually doing today. Good, other than losing my mind in the lab. Yeah, I I don't like the labyrinth either, so I get it. <laughs> you having trouble getting uh what you're looking for? But I went to D and D mode. Okay, D and D mode. Oh, I forgot as well. Cool. Are you looking for a specific lab enchantment, or what's going on? I assume you're looking for a specific one. Otherwise, I can't imagine what other reason you could have for being there. Certainly not fun. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Why am I frozen? Uh. Uh. Oh, okay. I don't... <laughs> what happened? There goes one portal. I don't think I lost XP. I don't think I died. That was just a weird disconnection. Okay, that was weird. I'm just doing some basic uh, mapping right now as a uh, warm-up for what we're going to do, because I'm going to attempt something a little ambitious I knew for the League. In some real lag here today. What's up with that? Let's see. Ooh, chaos or eh, I'd rather have some metamorph scarabs from the final boss. Weren't very good option. No. Bad lightning mirage. For any main scale or that I use in my build. Yeah, that makes sense. Some people run the lab to make money for some ungodly reason. I can't can't imagine why someone would want to torture themselves like that, but I mean, hey. That is all up to y'all. <laughs> Maybe this is a bad day to try my first Shaper, then, if the servers have been laggy. <laughs> I want to try my first Shaper of the League. Because I have five sets of Shaper fragments right now, so it feels kind of silly to not use them. But it's just a normal Shaper. Oh, fuck. Hard to... Okay, I just have to not read what the altars are until I am even vaguely safe. I am just keep putting myself in danger. Okay, drop Burning Ground, can drop a Cartographer's Chisel, and a Rusted Divination Scarab. That's really cool. And make this map very valuable. Yeah, the uh, upper tier staring XR stuff just shits out currency. It's really only 
Only if you get specific implicit or specific uh, alters, though. Like some, some are really lackluster and some are really good, and it seems to vary based on RNG. But like otherwise, it tends to work out in your favor generally. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to be pretty fast to like be able to run lab regularly because it's it's not a small. It's not a small map. I mean, you're effectively running, like, what, five maps? I feel like I would need to be able to guarantee, like... What would I want to guarantee to be able to run the lab? Like, actually, it's a content thing. It's like a... Real money making strategy. I'm thinking, like, if I'm going to, like, set a build around it, I probably want to build to guarantee somewhere between 30 and 50 chaos per run. If you can't guarantee that much, then, like, I would rather just do high tier mapping because it's better with my passives. Let's not get spiked again. Are there two of these or just I think it's just one. It looks like there's two layered on top of each other. Uh -oh. It always screws me up when I come out the second door, because I'm like, why? I am over here. Yeah, I'm now genuinely nervous to stay for today. But uh, for today's stream, I'm thinking of running. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna still gonna do it. I'm gonna still try to run the normal shaper for the very first time this league. I should be more than ready for it. Um, the lag is concerning, but otherwise I should be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully, I still have to get used to what this build can and can't do. And then I'm going to do a little bit of gambling in between uh, running different things. Because I have found a new money-making strategy for Path of Exile that is specifically geared towards mid and late league. And it requires you to have... It requires you to have money on hand. Hi, Omniphobia. It requires you to have money on hand, but it doesn't really require any sort of like skill level or ability. Or actual level or anything like that. Because it's a currency flipping thing. I'll share it uh, exclusively with y'all. My stream family. Stream fam. I'm also going to be making a video on it eventually, but you'll find out uh, a little bit ahead of time. Actually, I might bring that video out tomorrow. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Don't, don't, you, fuck, don't you fucking kill me. Seriously? Okay, I can't be losing shaper portals to this, so maybe I'll have to just, like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm concerned now. 60. Uh-oh. Oh, oh that, that straight up killed me. That's really unnerving. Hmm. That was that's like a that was a very safe and reasonable map for me to run to. And that did kill me, so that's that's a concern. <laughs> and I ran out of totems amelioration. Darn it. Quickly buy a totem. So 
for those uh, who aren't familiar, they added uh, not totems, omens. They added omens to the uh, to the game, this league, and there is an omen that uh, when you die the first time in a particular map, you will only lose a quarter of the experience rather than the full amount. A grab of more almonds. I thought I had more than this, but certainly not. There's a whole lot of price fixes around these days. It's getting really hard to actually find people who are really selling things. I've been struggling, like, to find people. People to trade with. I was buying stuff earlier, actually, and I successfully managed... I managed to bring through, I think, like, four trades out of, like, 30. And all the people I traded with were almost assuredly bots. So I never actually found a real person to trade with. Which is honestly pretty sad. I just need to go up in price until I just happen to find people who actually want to sell things. Because, like, there's a few people who are selling things, for, like, somewhat cheap because they want to get rid of them quickly, and then there's people who just are price fixed. And it's really frustrating that price fixing is such a big, easy, easy thing to do in this game. And I'm sure it's a thing to do in real life as well. Okay, that's two. That should be more than enough for now. I can only use one per map anyways. Whoa! That was another huge lag spike. Man. Servers are not happy today. Well, okay. Let's do something that doesn't actually require any uh, servers to be amazing. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of gambling first. I'll explain how I'm, how I'm doing it and what I'm doing. So... With Metamorph, they introduce catalysts, so you can put quality onto rings, amulets, or belts. If you put three catalysts together, you get a random catalyst out of it. So, three tempering. I get one intrinsic. The abrasive and imbued catalysts are three catalysts, one chaos. So, you get about 30 for 10 chaos, for example. The Prismatic, the Unstable, the Accelerating, and the well, what's the Fertile ones are all worth dramatically more money. 17 Chaos, or 18 Chaos, 3 Chaos, 24 Chaos, and 9 Chaos each. So, let's just take this as an example. I, or let's take the, um, the unstable as an example. So there's 24 chaos out of one unstable. That means that I can spend 24 chaos on buying ca other catalysts 
and converting them with the hopes of finding one of those. So that would be... That would be 72 catalysts. So I get 24 chances of making one of these things. One of any of these four. Per. It actually works out pretty well. So I'm going to just show this off right now. I have... What is this? I have 150 imbued right here. Let's see what 150 imbued gives me. So 150 imbued at 3 to a chaos was 50 chaos. I just got 3 prismatic, which are 17 or 18 apiece. So. 36, 44, 54 chaos right here. So this this covers the price of all the catalysts I just, just got. Then we have another 72 chaos right here. And that's all. But, convert these as well. Get any more? Oh, we got another one. We also got an accelerating, which is worth three. Again. We have less than three of all types. Okay. So in the end, we turned 50 chaos worth of catalysts into 96 chaos worth of unstable plus. Oh. But again, plus. 72 chaos worth of prismatics, plus another 3 chaos worth of intrinsics, or worth of uh, accelerating. That's 171 chaos out of 50 chaos worth of catalysts. Needless to say, this is a rather fun and effective strategy for making money. And I wanted y'all to know about it first, because it seems people have forgotten that you can just do this fairly easy thing to get it because for some reason there's like this vast vast gap between the prices of catalysts but i don't really understand why you can just convert them like this so let's make some more let's spend another 50 i'll put this away spend another 50 chaos worth let's see what we get now Twenty-four chaos, twenty-seven chaos, and then this should be twenty-seven or thirty-six. So twenty-seven plus thirty-six, sixty-three chaos, plus six fifty-four plus fifty-four. is 117 chaos before we've even gone through and like processed the rest of them because like we can still do this even get any more because we're at 4113 oh we just got another one okay cheapest one but still i mean it's better than everything else we have But you can see it it goes <laughs> the amount of money that you earn goes up very quickly. So I'm going to grab uh, what we've just earned from what we've done. Over here just so we can Oh. Okay, gonna put another 50 up. Oh, that's... I don't have enough space to accept it. Okay, I'll do this first. Then I'll run this. Boop, 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 boop. And boop. None of those are expensive ones, good. 
making sure that I'm not uh, accidentally vendoring something valuable. Okay. We're doing pretty well for value. Another 50. So this will bring us up to 200 put in. 200 chaos put into this. Keep doing that. <laughs> Cool. Oh, we had now have a full stack of prismatics. Okay, and something I really need to, that I need to note for everyone. There, if you put in, let's say, four of one type of catalyst, it will spit out the excess, or five. But if you put in too little, so if you put in, let's say, two, so these two tempering here, it will convert them into scrolls of scroll fragments, like for scrolls of wisdom. You need to make sure that you don't have any scroll fragments appearing in your cell box, otherwise you are wasting something. Okay, gonna move these over here again. Hard to call this gambling because I feel like I'm definitely I feel like I'm definitely just converting money at this point. So I've been paying um one to three for the uh abrasives and uh the imbued catalysts. Or three to one. Whichever way is three catalysts to one chaos. And this is the uh, what I'm earning out of it. Okay, back here. Was that 200 or 250? I think that was 250. That would make this 300 chaos in this set. Three hundred and fifty chaos. All right. I removed some because it's getting too much stuff in my uh, inventory. Now I'm just going to dump all this stuff in to get some more space. Okay, no scroll fragments. That's good. Let's see, we have 400? No, we don't. So, half of that would be... If I put this away, that will be 375. Then we'll total from here. Just double checking, nothing expensive there. Good. Yep, we have too many accelerating now. Okay. So that's, we put in 375 chaos. Out of that, we got. 240 chaos of unstables. Let me bring up a notepad so I can actually write this down, otherwise it will get complicated to say the least. So 240 chaos worth of unstables. Then we got 27 prismatics at 18 apiece. That's 486. 
chaos. 13 accelerating, which is 39 chaos. Then we have the fertile, which are 9 chaos apiece, so that'd be 180 chaos. So to put it all together, finally, 240 plus 486 plus 39 plus 180 equals... Let me just do this in chat so y'all can see it. 140C plus 186... C plus 9C plus 180C equals 945C right there. Oh, yeah, can't chat well in D&D. &D. And then we're going to minus that by the 375 we put in. We made... 570c profit from that. That is... Two divines, two, 460. So that was two and a half divine profit I made off of that. This is something very simple that anyone can do, theoretically, if you have... Let's say 100c you, need, you probably need to start off with, because 100c you can get 300 catalysts with. And that's like a decent amount to start. And then hopefully with that 100C, you will get back enough that it'll be viable. I so far have yet to lose on doing this. Uh, the only question is whether you have enough money for it to actually work out in the end. Otherwise. Uh, didn't get any extras. That's fine. But I just want to show off that money-making method for all my viewers. Don't tell anyone and make lots of money. <laughs> Put all that money aside. And this is why I have no issue spending 45 chaos per omen of amelioration. Because <laughs> I, I found things like that to do. There will be a video coming up in, uh, let's see, what day would be good. Uh, I'm going to put a video up on this on Thursday, so you'll have till Thursday to abuse this method as much as possible before the video goes up. Luck? <laughs> luck? Okay, let's look at some other fun stuff to do, now that we've exhausted that. I'm still going to attempt to do Shaper. This is probably a bad idea. I will probably lose a bunch of XP. And a whole shit ton of fragments. But... Oh, hi, Ron. Thank you. Yeah, it's my, my Frostlink's kitty. I love her. The thing for it. Cosmetics. Arctic Lynx bet. I actually... I've always questioned this purchase, because it cost me, like, $20 to get her. But I've used her as my pet pretty much every single league for every character for many, many leagues now, so it's been worth it. But, uh, I don't know, I just really... I loved her since first the first time I saw her. She's based on, like, Canadian lynx, which are white and fluffy like that, with, like, the big pointy ears. And she makes me happy. Nope, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not gonna make this maven witnessed. I don't hate myself. I will eventually, but not yet. Okay, first shaper of the league. Let's do this.
First Guardian person. No, you're not blowing me up. Thank you very fucking much. Oh god. This one always takes so long because you have to take out the things. You know, please, please go to your next phase. I want to kill you. Go to your next phase. Oh. You need to be, I need cur <laughs> As soon as I cursed him, it just melt. He just melted. Right, I need to remember to do that, because that's like a chunk of my damage. I will not do it for the vine, thank you very much. I have XP right now, and I'm trying to preserve it. To some extent. For a bunch, and drop. Yeah. <laughs> Does not take long. This I'm ho this is why I'm hoping I'll be able to do this okay. I'll dress so. I'm hoping that having as much damage as I do will be my saving grace cuz like I'm not as durable as I'd like to be yet, but I do have a lot of damage. Oh, darn it. Hate and vulnerability phases. Okay, no, I, lo I love and hate and vulnerability phases, because I love them because it gives me a chance to set up, but I hate them because it always stops me from being able to actually kill them, even though I very much have the damage. Oh, Dominus. Mm, no, you don't. Thank you. Man, my mind throwing speed when I have ten frenzy charges is crazy. Fortunately he takes a really long time to set up. Yeah, he really did just just get blasted. Okay, now let's actually start the first shape of the league. Setting up. Cursing and jump. No! Oh, I almost didn't jump far enough. Ooh! Okay. He's down to about half health, so as soon as this phase finishes, if either if he takes more damage, or maybe he'll just... Okay. Okay, yeah, he's going to jump right into uh, his invulnerability phase now. And I def okay. I I am ready for this. Is what I am learning. <laughs> the biggest question is whether I do something stupid or not. I'm going the dramatically wrong way, aren't I? No, I was going the right way. Just I don't think I've ever seen the run just like double back on itself. What? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. On. Ah. I wanted to go across. I have a uh, an anomalous second wind support, so I have five dashes, which is really nice. Oh, I can jump that. Is this a double back as well? Yes, it was. God, that's weird. Okay, we must be almost there. Come on. 
There we are. Okay, setting up. Oh god, I set up too early. Jump! Ooh. Oh. I love how easy this phase is in just the normal shaper, because, like, not having her bubble in the uber shaper sucks, but with this, it's just so simple. Irrelevant. And now we're in the pit map. Need to get back. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Don't you fucking delete my portal. Or kill me. Don't do either of those things. <sighs> fucking portal. God damn it. Is the stream lagging at all, or is this just is this just the uh, boss fight being, or just the servers being? I didn't die thankfully because both my totems are or oh, why do I keep calling totems? Both my omens are still here. Oh, maybe it's on my end then if it lagged out the stream. Okay, I did something there that might have helped a little bit, but I'm not sure. Have Okay, I should be good now. I'm as good as I can be. He's just gonna tell okay. Teleport me back. Whatever. I was wondering what happened, like if you died in this phase. I guess it teleports you back is the answer. Please don't lag out again. Please. I'm even like moving slowly right now, like not not uh, jumping very much. Not dashing because I'm hoping that it won't tax it. Like I don't know if this is, like a server wide lag spike or like there's just too much stuff it's trying to process or what, but Set up, and goodbye. I got him down to a third. Damn it, Bottled Faith is not the right time. Oh. Darn it. I did not manage that right. Uh... What was that? I don't know what killed me there. Okay. Well, whatever. Not like the game's gonna tell me. Did I get clipped by one of the purple projectiles or something? Must have. 
Okay, beam. And cull. First shaper of the league. Yay! Lots and lots of good shaper stuff. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, only one death. That's not bad. If anyone actually saw what happened there, I do invite you to say it, because I genuinely don't know what happened. I must have gotten clipped by one of the purple things. I must have been, like, standing just outside it or something. Outside the... Can't imagine what else could have done it. Slowly assembling my... Um... My exalt shard thing, just for doing the, uh... Doing the challenge, wherever it is. Edler's Produce 2? Yes, the exalt shard here. I could easily do that and this one, but I just... I just haven't. I really should. I have a tendency to just not do that stuff until, like, way later. These aren't actually working, right? Eh, probably not. Did we get a good roll? That's ass! I mean, the evasion and energy shield's almost max, but the, the dex is really low. Eh. Eh. You think it's a purple projectile? Okay. Oh, well. I shall put it here, and if someone wants to buy it for 9 chaos, they can. Hmm, what have we not done? I could do an Elder, actually. The Elder generally is pretty tame. We do an Elder. First Elder of the League. For some reason, these are really expensive right now, the fragments. I don't know why. They're between 28 and 32, so this is 120 chaos worth of fragments here. For what reason, I have no idea. No, not like that. Yes. Yes. I'm just saying the middle here. Eh. Just one thing in the middle just for show. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No extra variables. First out of the league, let's go. Oh, yeah, this fight just starts. There's no, like, conversation or anything like that. I forgot about that fact. Oh, he's already at... Oh, 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 I just barely dodged that storm. <laughs> that was almost really bad. That, I'd like to say that was skill. That wasn't skill. That was an accident that I dodged that. Like, I, like, I noticed at the last second. I don't even really need to curse these things. Maybe I should do a Maven Witnessed. This is kind of sad, honestly. The only problem is, like, the regeneration that uh, the Maven can add is, like, percentage regeneration. And the percentage health on these things is pretty high for pinnacle bosses. And it keeps spawning in awkward spots. Oh, 
Oh, I can actually tail him now. Hide me, Zana! Save me! Save me! Yeah, who's... Get out of here, you fuck. Fragment of emptiness. Why I made that sound like a ghost? <laughs> Emptiness, 70. For 70 chaos? Why is this so expensive? Water's Eyes apparently start at 100 chaos right now. And the Void Fort is 8.5 div. Okay, that kind of explains. And then the impressence that I have here. It's probably not worth much. It's for the it's for the despair aura, the purple one. How well do you roll? Decent health. Eh, chaos damage. Max dot Oh. How much is a max dot one? Max dot one starts at twenty nine, and then I have moderate health one. Okay, yeah. Swap that down there. Why not? It's unfortunate that you can't use a catalyst to increase the dot. Feels like a bit of an oversight to be honest. Because when like the noxious catalyst should be used for da damage over time as well, even though it's like mainly for chaos. Do I have some left? Yeah, I do. Like the noxious catalyst would be useful on that, but like only for the flat chaos damage, and I think the chaos res. Where? What did I just do? Oh, it's here. <laughs> oh, you can actually increase chaos res. With a Noxious Catalyst? Hold on. Really? No, you can't. So it has the Chaos Tag, but the Chaos Tag doesn't matter. Just, oh, because this isn't... This is Chaos Damage, not Chaos. Okay. That means the Prismatic ones would help with the Chaos Res here. That doesn't make sense, because usually, like, you think prismatic, you think the, uh, like, red, blue, yellow, like the, um, uh, fire, cold, lightning. Like, you don't think chaos rise as well, but I guess it does make sense. Ow. Ow, the fragments of, fragments of knowledge are worth 150. That is crazy, considering that... The average price for the uh, mall fragments is 15. So it's only 60 to do a shaper, and you get a fragment worth 150. But the shape, but the elders, 120 worth of fragments to do, and you get a fragment worth of 70. The elder is a much bigger gamble, in that sense. Kind of sad and weird. Okay, so we have purification and construction. Purifier construction. Okay. So if we can do a uh, enslaver and an eradicator, and then we'd have enough to do that again. Because I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to run that with a. Um, with a maven influence on the elder there, just because, like. That was a painfully easy fight, and I, I... Come on, we can do a bit better than that. Okay, we are going to go on just a quick five-minute break, and I'll be back. Drink water, check your posture, you know, the usual. BRB.
Hey all. Welcome back. So we're gonna do an eradicator and an enslaver so that we can do a witnessed elder. I'm gonna try adding an elder scarab to the elder influence map. They've increased the amount of elder items it drops. Hey, I think it worked. Yeah, more elder items. Cool. I'll get even more stuff. So we'll have a witnessed. Delirious, whatever the fuck this thing is. Eradicator. Oh, that's a metamorph. There's a random metamorph. Cool. I forgot I had uh, wandering rogue metamorphs in my passive tree. Or catalyst. I'm going to go straight to the boss first. Because let's be honest, I don't want the delirium to get too high before I fight him. We're already at three stacks. Probably going to be five by the time we actually get to him. I'm trying to clear this stuff out. Really hope it doesn't like me out. Kill me. Again. That was not cool. Also, if my voice seems a bit off, I'm I think I'm a bit under the weather right now. Just a little bit. I'm generally okay, but my voice still sounds a bit weird. I don't know how the heck I managed to catch something. No! Don't you dare explode. At least not on me. Okay, there's the elder. Yeah. Oh wow, there's a lot of shit in this corner. Holy shit. <laughs> there's a lot of delirium spawn things in one spot. Cool, Mirror Madness. Go. Eradicator, yeah. Eradicator. Oh, is it the lightning one? I hate this guy. <laughs> oh, it was a bit early. Yeah, it's the lightning one. I hate this guy. Uh have to be careful because he is pretty tanky. And that is a very dangerous ability. So is this one. This one is really bad. Oh, like how how few charges I have left? 
Oh no, I think I might be on the wrong um I might be on the wrong minor god right now. Yep, I'm on the wrong minor god. So my my health potion health potion. My life flask is not going to be even recharging. Let's change that. Over there. Okay, and that should be phase. Should be phase. Um, thank you. Set up as much as I can, as quickly as I can. Hide over here. I think he's going to convert. No, oh, he didn't turn to elemental yet. Okay, he's elemental now. Wait for those to turn. Ads. Down the ads. Watch out for the lightning. Okay, set up. Put on him. And get the fuck out. Okay. Next phase. Oh, I don't want to die again. I can avoid it. Okay, good. Set up, set up, set up, set up, set up, set up. Ah! Oh, shit. Elemental mode. Come on, come on, come on, come on, call, 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 call. No. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. That was a little bit more dangerous than I wanted to be. Ugh. <laughs> Buster. Uh. <laughs> that looked close because it was close. It was oh, <laughs> uh, that was uh that was rough. Ah, oh, I have a tea here. So oh, nice on days. Oh, that was way, way too close for my liking. Okay, that's a lot happening. No! Don't you dare follow me with an explosion. Most of this fractured crap is not going to be worth anything. But every once in a while, this one piece of fractured stuff that is just worth an obscene amount. Hi, Cassia. I don't think Cassia likes me. She's just like, oh yeah, you can deal with all that shit. And I don't see you getting mobbed. Oh, 
I like Einhar. He's helpful. Like, you're having trouble? I don't care if that's a beast or not. I'll help anyways. Here's a regen buff. Jumping out of the way of things, and I jumped right into a pack of things I hadn't killed yet. Oh, it's good to clear ahead of your that reason. <laughs> ah! I'm making sure to dive for the uh, sulfites. If for anyone who doesn't understand why I'm doing that, it's because I have a pact with power, a notable that gives me like a big buff whenever I, as long as I have uh, hit for each sulfite note I've hit. Just in that map. This. We'll find intoxication. Increase movement speed, damage, and additional maximum elemental. I should grab this now. Additional abyss map. A good implicit. I think I know some of that. Oh, what was that that just dropped? Dropped somewhere. Whatever. Oh, metamorph. Forgot the metamorph. That portal. Better spot. Mix ambush. Map fragments are better. Lots of catalysts. Yeah. I like Metamorph for this character since I can set up so well. Like having mines. Oh, oh no. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot about that whole having traits of the Elder Guardian thing. That's ass. Oop. They have to come out. I wanna wanna pick your brain. Now let's see, did we get, uh, not useful, did we get any crazy fractures? Oh my gosh, that is a tier 1 dex on the boots. That actually might be worth some. It's not worth some. <laughs> kind of excited for a second. Whatever. Put it in the cheap tab. Nah. Oh well. It's always worth checking. Buster jewels off to be crafted. Wrapped up, one of the two. And now to do the oh fuck, it's a maze map. Oh, maze sucks. <laughs> Horizons. Every temple, that's a bit better. Monsters from beyond, sounds good.
this may This is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Yeah, Delirious is just such a bad idea with the Guardians. At least if you want to go Deathless. And I do, ideally. I'd love if I could eventually just hit 100. Like, I've been trying really hard to hit 100 lately. I'm currently at 96. Halfway to 97. I'd love to buy an XP service, but unfortunately they seem to be very low supply this late. Hi. Eh! Last league, there was just every XP service you could want to uh, choose from, but this league, I don't know. Maybe people got bored after running it constantly last league. I wouldn't blame them. I, I couldn't run the same thing over and over. I tend to, like, vary up my gameplay a lot just because, I mean, I get bored pretty easily, I find. But I like to have, like, lots of different money-making methods I can bounce between. I'm conscious of every mob I'm killing before getting to the boss. So nerve wracking knowing that like the difficulty is going up the longer I wait. I won't wait, I'm not waiting. The longer it takes me to get there. Or things I kill on the way. Stuff. I still take a lot of damage. Occasion. I really would like to. Oh, I really would like to up my uh, survivability. I actually have like a plan for that. I've moved around some of my passives in my path of building, and I'm waiting to do it in my actual game my actual on my actual build in the game I mean, I was kind of waiting to, like, ideally level up to 70 or to 97. So I have, like, one more passive point to work with, but it might be better to just get all right now. Or not right now, but, like, as soon as possible. Like, the uh, newer version of the build, and I, I, I do mean to actually explore it and show my uh, path building at some point, but uh, the newer version of the build that I have does have like a bunch more survivability. I think it has like 5% more evasion chance and more importantly, it has like 40% more spell suppression. That'll help a bit. Wait, so this killed the boss. What does the display case do then? Uh. Thing? Okay. That was weird. I just. I just punched a glass case for no reason.
Uh, good job, me, I guess. Okay, five layers of delirium. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Alright, uh, down to a third, okay. Oh, that initial setup is just so important. Oh, ow. Hard to juke those fire. Okay, that should be, eh, that should be this phase. Dump a bunch down. No, you don't. Thank you very much. Those are explosives. Ground. <laughs> uh. We're twisted. Nice. Exotic rewards. These are worth 80. Oh, scrolls of wisdom. Identify it, but whatever. Now I don't have to worry about boss getting harder. I can just move. Oh gosh. This room is always so full of things, right? That's something rather interesting recently. Apparently. Players on PS4, I can't speak to Xbox, but players on PS4 have access to a type of auction house, as well as the normal trade website. Like. And that's really frustrating to hear. And like, I've seen, I watched a video from another YouTuber on it. It's like a functional auction house where you can list things and go offline and come back online and they'll be sold kind of thing like a real auction house i've also heard something about uh some of the asian servers having it well so don't know what's going on with that but it kind of is upsetting to hear as a pc player who's been deprived of that for a very, very long time. And let's be clear, I'm not upset at uh, anyone who plays console who has access to this. That's great that you do, because you deserve that, and it's good for the for the player base. I just am mad that GG GGG has that ability, and they still haven't added it to the main game yet. Or at least to add it to the PC. I would think to be, like, their main platform. Like, I spent a bunch of... I think I mentioned this earlier. I spent a bunch of time today buying stuff on the trade site. And generally, the only people who were responding to when I was messaging them were the bots. And, like, you can tell they're bots because they act like bots. 
Like they don't they don't talk to you. They click on things way too fast. Like like just just obvious obvious things that are definitely definitely wrong. And it's just it's just sad because like they are effectively our auction house. And then GGG is trying to like get rid of them, and it's like. Like, I don't like botting. I don't think it's good for the game. I don't think we should have it. But if you're not going to add an auction house, like, why why are you fighting the only people who are actually giving us something that fits that, that bill? By giving us bots that are on at all times that will trade with you. Because other humans won't. Or at least, not very easily. And again, I'm not for... Botting. I'm not for using bots, and I certainly would never use one myself, but, like, it just feels, it feels more like they're guarding their own interests rather than actually caring about the player base. The more they focus on things like trying to get rid of these, like, currency trading bots rather than when they could just be focusing on adding us an auction house, which they have already have the, the infrastructure for and the design for. This is not worth very much. Still, that's interesting. Stack decks. Always love more stack decks. Okay, so let's actually try the uh, witness the uh, elder now. Hopefully it doesn't make anything to ass. Yep, witnessed, okay. Um, out of Ohm's Amelioration, I'll take an Omen of Revenge, I guess. I don't expect to die, so hopefully I won't need anything, but... Better to have an Omen in my inventory than not have an Omen. Okay, I'm just far enough away that I'm out of his activation range. Cool, so I can set up. Okay, down to three quarters. Down to half health. Down to a third health. Nope, 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 nope. Thank you. Okay, already in the second phase. <laughs> Well, I guess regen isn't too dangerous if it doesn't have even a moment to regen. Um, like those following me. Oh, got got vined. No, oh, stop finding me. I will say if like you're struggling or like if you're like on like fair st if if you're on like fair ground against a boss you don't want to add Maven because she will very easily put it like put the boss fight in the boss's favor. But like if you're overwhelming the boss like this you can definitely use Maven and like it's still pretty damn reasonable to kill it. Okay, and set up mines, and goodbye. Wow. One set of mines was enough. Oh, cyclo Cyclopean Coil. Fortunately, I once again have lost money on that, but... Oh well. I just find it so weird that the like the difference in price with fragments. 
that like it's actually a losing endeavor to fight the the elder unless you get like a really big win. Okay, a weakened POE trade says this is worth three chaos. No, oh, thank you. Man, if you're stacking all your attributes, this would be really good, actually. So, I don't really know of any builds that stack into decks and strength. Dex is higher than int. Okay. Strength is higher than dex. Int is higher than strength. Okay, so no matter what, you can only have two of those at maximum. You can't have all three effects. I'll stop staring at that. <laughs> What? According to Awakened's POE trade, this is worth 20 chaos. Just for the base. Uh. Okay. I don't really know why. That's probably worth not. Five chaos identified, close to eight unidentified. Okay, it just just un unidentified uh, influenced items are generally worth grabbing. If you have like a four or five chaos tab, they tend to sell pretty quickly. I don't currently have that, unfortunately, but I mean, I might do like a five chaos tab at some point. Sell like sets of stuff. But only when I have a bunch. Like I don't want to spend, I don't want to spend forever doing that because, eh, it just feels frustrating spending too much time on five, five C trades when be apping, I guess. <laughs> like do pretty much anything else and gain more money. That would be a good thing to do. Change the stream title, seeing not doing gambling or the shaper anymore. Let's farm some starting X Arch maps. What that? What map here is not ass? If not awful. That's a long run one. I can do that. And we're also not going to listen to this anymore. Or right, whatever this is. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay, good. I'm still on wrist lock. That is my prayer. Do some maps up. Make them some shaver maps. And you know what? Let's throw Einhar on. Not. Add Einhar. And, oh, I can't. I can't do that, unfortunately, because I already have a master on there, and I have the double fortune faves the brave. You unlock two options instead of one. That one's really nice. Or Specky Hente, that's for sure. Oh. 
No delirium, surprisingly. Essen. Yes. And Metamorph is probably from my passive. Essence definitely isn't. Might have rolled Essence. Oh, that is a Rogue Metamorph right there. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. That's, uh. That is a, uh. Danger. That is a danger, buddy. Danger, buddy! Ah! No. Why so many explosions? Well, besides mine, I mean. Ooh, first out catalyst. Nine chaos there. Okay. Do I? I must have beyond demons or something. That's rising. Nope, those both suck. Actually, wait, is one of those just... You know, I'm going to risk it. And try not to be too close to things that will have a bunch of extra chaos damage. I definitely have Beyond Demon, because some of this stuff is abnormal looking. Yep, I have Beyond Demons. That's what's going on. For more deal. Good. That's the Golem Jewel. Like, Chaos Resistance isn't actually all that bad for taking this particular challenge. Yeah, 100% physical as Chaos. Things that are nearby me. So, I could be fine. I don't even know how much of this stuff has physical damage to begin with. So. Capture, oh. Okay. Way. Stay back. Okay, and let's this. Alter charges up and discharges more. Boy, charges on hit. That's going to be. That's very strong. I know that because that's me. <laughs> I am also charges on him. Or crit, whatever. I think most of my charges are from just detonating mines. Mines out and off. That is one of the things I really like about fine characters being able to set things up and let set them off after, like when, like at just the right moment, really satisfying. Nope. Nope, you're not allowed close to me. I have contagious chaos damage. Oh, I just noticed I have three red beasts surrounding me. Uh, okay, let's pull this one.
Alright. Ah! Beyond Beast! Go away. Bad demon rhino things. Ah! Okay, that spawned more demons than things I killed. Is that how it's supposed to work? That doesn't feel like how it's supposed to work. Stay over there. Eh? Didn't notice it spawned things underneath me. You. Okay. Good. Okay, there should be one more red beast. Oh, it's fairly far away, I think. And it's really not giving me good alters. I don't... I'll give things more evasion rating. Evasion rating has no effect on, on spells, so it doesn't, doesn't save them. Nothing can save you from me! Aha! Shot. What? Hitting me? That must have been the effect of... Uh, nope. Dare charge me. Okay. Now I can do the ritual. I want to make sure there's nothing too nearby, because I don't want to, like, retreat out of the ritual. Like, right afterwards. Covering health, it just runs into it or something. I guess it's not really a. I don't know, I just automatically. the area. Ooh, scouting report, nice. Out. Else? No, nope, I'll just take this guy out now. Aha! It's so nice when, like, you're just outside of the range where they can notice you, just outside of their aggro range, and you can throw tons of mines at them and then just drop them before they even realize what's happening. Best thing about mines. Heck, if you can make a mine build strong enough, you can just set up ahead of time, and you can really kill a boss before your your survivability even becomes a question. Speaking of that, there's something I've always wanted to try, and I'm I'm not really sure how to go about it, but I've always wanted to try a cast on death character that uh, like specifically for boss killing, just like let him keel over right beside the boss and just wipe it out in one shot. I once had this, like, kind of weird idea where, like, you could just have a cast on death gem of, like, with, like, different level firestorm gems and just have, like, end firestorms. Oh, what for you? It's B Baydat. It's Bidet, the arch Archangel. Ar arch Archangel. That's definitely how you pronounce any of that. Sure, let's just say that's all right. Okay, Bidet is dead. Ooh. And he dropped the tainted using? Why why was that highlighted? Oh, they're worth 33. Uh, wow, that's pretty nice. Those are worth one. Okay. Oh, I activated an abyss. I didn't even notice that. 
Oh, oh no, that's a lot of things at once. You know, I can take Curse Reflection. That. Okay, that Abyss is definitely going to go away in the time it takes me to, like, figure out what's going on. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Well, whatever. I would rather be safe. Uh, I can leave lose 3,000 evasion. That's fine. That's not that much. Besides, I'm not letting things get close to me. Okay, so there's a Diviner Strong Box there, a unique Diviner Strong Box of all things. There. Okay, there's a scroll. Maelstrom Cell. Contains additional divination cards that give Shaper or Elder items. And six divination cards that have a full stack number of six. Okay. So a full stack of a six stack thing. That's sick. Well, I'm just going to keep casting Firestorm on this bot. And if you happen to walk into here, it's your fault. Logic. Uh, that's three of sixes. Oh, they're different ones. That's weird. Eldritch Decay. Or Elder Fragment. The fragments are worth 120 each for the Elder, right? So that's... Wait, no. No, there were 70 each for the... For the, for the um the elder of the uber elder side is worth seventy and the shaper of the uber of the uber elder is worth one hundred fifty so that actually is worth a fair bit it's worth at least fifteen if you're gambling on just the elder side gambling on more than that like you're gambling on it being a shaper thing then I guess it's probably Closer to 25 or something. I should probably assemble that set to see what it's like. You're a rude, rude red bee. Stop with the pylons. The pylons. Oh? Bad snake thing. Stop giving me pylons. Ow. Ow. No. No. Stop it. Stop it. Where are you? Damn it, there you are. Okay. <laughs> I lost it for a second. No, come back here. Stuff over. Oh, was that the boss? Oh, that was the boss. Oops. I off screened the boss. Oh well. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but like. <laughs> oh, I should bottle up this, uh, this ritual quickly. Like, I have, uh, a ritual bank. That seems like a pretty good ritual. There's the boss. I currently have one ritual vessel I can use. What if you use multiple ritual vessels on the same thing? I've never, I haven't really experimented with. Like, can you just put like a map and four ritual vessels together, or what? 
Okay, I need to go back, buy stuff from the Ritual, like from the Tribute Store, and do the Metamorph. Can't forget that. I grab that. I don't actually want to wait. Whatever. Or random should I? Let's really quickly. Don't want to lose that. So I'm just gonna grab that again. That aside. Okay, I have room now. Okay, tribute store and metamorph. Store and metamorph. The tribute store is the easiest for me to forget. Ooh, delirious map, nice. Ooh, oh, that's the expensive mortal fragment. Oh my god, I am six tribute short. I am six tribute short. Oh, that's mean. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> Fine. Get it another time. <laughs> oh, well. I'll take that. Take this. And I'll take this. That. That. Uh, might as well. That back. Turn to sender. And might as well do this. What's this? Metamorph. Time for the metamorph. <laughs> Which one of these did I do? Uh, they both suck. Setting up. Dropping. Bye. Oh, a prismatic! I need to make sure these things highlight, because this is a problem if these don't highlight. I'll take a screenshot for myself so I can try to remember. Really? Those should really be highlighting, because that's a big problem if I miss a prismatic catalyst. They're worth... Many, 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 many times more. Like, the abrasive and the prismatic look the exact same. And this is... Prismatic 54 times the value of the abrasive. Ooh, the layers map. I have a bunch of Delirious maps. I completely forgot I had these. Let's put that aside. I can run some already Delirious maps, why not? Oh. Eh. Here, 12, I can do. Oh, I already have the Einhars Scarabs there. That's what's going on. Does selecting Einhar help? Does that add another red beast? Or no, it just fails completely. Crap. Sad that it doesn't get. Uh... I can't pick up um, Searing Axe Arch or Eater of Worlds on this because it's level at 12. That. Well, that's a Soul Eater mob, so that needs to die immediately. Oh my gosh, this is a very busy map. Um, okay, I'm going to grab the Smoke Cash for the buff and the Acceleration Shrine for the buff. Okay, now everything dies.
Oh no, it's a lynx. Oh, it's a lynx. Oh, that makes me sad. Well, it's it's not real. I'm gonna blow you up though. I don't like killing the lynx in this game because I like lynx. Very cute. I remember going to the Toronto Zoo, and they have a lynx exhibit, like, near the back in, like, the Canadian section. And they're so much smaller than you would expect them to be. These are the, uh, I used to go to the, do a lot. But they're so much smaller than you expect them to be. They're so cute. Little baby lynx. Whenever... Uh, the, the time I was there, though, like, I noticed something, like, they were acting real weird. The Lynx is in the exhibit. I was trying to figure out what was going on, and I think what happened was a squirrel got into the exhibit, and, like, for a second, and then bolted, realizing that it was full of predators. <laughs> and then, like, the Lynxes were, like, trying to find the squirrel, and were just, like, so excited, like, making their... Like, wow, like sounds. It was very cute. Hi, Maestro. But yeah, lynxes are like my favorite animal. Hence why I have a lynx pet in game. Not any lynx, a Canadian lynx pet. Well, okay, technically it's an Arctic lynx, but an Arctic lynx is the Canadian. Ours are white, unlike the other ones, which are brown. And so pretty! I mean, they're all pretty, but... How are you today, Maestro? I just went on a tangent about lynx. Wow, this thing's tanky. Those are called greed. Yeah, big tough guys. The delirium ones. Spiky ones are called turmoil. Oh, disgust. That's what they're called. Big ones. And then... The ones that are like all muscly are the smaller ones between fury and turmoil size, which are called rage. Those little, the other little ones named malice. That's cool. I love Delirium. Such a good one. I remember I didn't like the league all that much when I started playing it, like in the actual league itself, because. I wasn't strong enough to, like, actually enjoy the delirium most of the time. So, like, most of the time it was just, like, this other thing that just sat in the map and I never I never clicked on it or anything because I just couldn't do it. Like, like the map un unbeatable, basically. Okay. My builds have gotten better since then. And also the tuning on delirium has gotten better since then. Uh, hi, Shaper. Just, just say hi. Okay. Feel like it was supposed to do something, but it didn't. So okay. There's the boss. Don't want to do his bouncy thing. There.
Well, we are using a delirious map now. I am really enjoying uh where is it? I'm really enjoying unending nightmare. Delirium fo fog never dissipates. Delirium orbs can't be found in your map. Simulacrum splinters can't be found in your map. Uh, I don't really like picking up simulacrum splinters because I don't really like doing the simulacrum. Uh, delirium orbs are good, but it doesn't matter as much because I'm getting more chances to get uh, the cluster jewels. It basically just all the a all the maps where you open a delirium portal, it just acts like have a delirious map. So. Like, every time you get a stage, it drops one rather than dropping everything at the end. Yeah, I can easily get way more money from Cluster Jewel than I can from the Dorbs. Delirium Orbs. I like calling them Dorbs. I feel like Dorb is a better name. Okay, no, it's a worse name, but it's funnier. really shouldn't just, like, look away from what I'm doing. For a second, I was just like, what's the name of this song? Because, like, it plays all the time, and it's like, oh, that's, yeah, it's cool. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm in... <laughs> I'm doing something right now, I should be a bit more careful. Why... Why is this heat shiver? Where was that... Where was that highlighted? Whoa! That's a different... 1% of cold damage is extra fire damage prefer... Yeah. Per 1% chill effect on enemy. Gain 100% of cold damage is extra fire damage against frozen enemies. That's crazy good. That's a huge buff from before. You, you can have that level 20? I feel like you trivialized the early game with that. Holy shit, it's worth 40. Wow. Okay, cool. I'm glad that they they uh, reworked that, because now it's really cool. I like chill effect. It makes me want to some sort of build around that specifically. And I assume people are doing a build around it specifically, otherwise it wouldn't be so expensive. Unless they changed the drop rate. To speak. something. Okay, well, I guess not. I didn't try. Oh, you can't see me. I'm invisible. Invisible. is not good. I'm also immune to blind, so Crowded Shrine isn't too good. I did. Let's go back. That last little bit of the loop, then we can call this map done. Wait, why am I attacking the strong box? Or the smuggler's catch? <laughs> why is my brain does strange things? Yo. Next. Ah, uh, Carnage Heart. Oh, a bunch of Carnage Hearts now. I keep picking them up because it's like, this is super valuable, you should pick it up. I just keep putting them in the guild stash. By the way, for anyone who doesn't know, I have a guild in this game that you are welcome to join if you'd like. I put tons of shit in there that are just like, semi-decent items or like decent leveling things.
Yeah, put this across the current parts. I'm going to say this many more times, but uh, this will be the first heads up. I am intending to change my stream time a bit. Uh, I'm going to be pushing it back an hour. So that it'll be 5.30 EST for people who... But it'll be an hour from whatever time you're used to. Uh, I won't start that till next week, though. I will keep. I will mention it in this stream a few times, and I'm going to mention it. In... Well, it'll be in the Discord and on the channel, and I'll change it. Which you know, all the places. A lot of cold fields now. Don't like that. Wait. Who's? Oh, on Kosis? I just killed you! Why'd you come back? Rude. Oh, no, I don't like that. Let's just stack those behind. Uh, it'll be an hour later. It'll be starting at 7 p.m. your time, Ron. What do we have? Blade Blast. That needs other lingering blades within a 50... Blink arrow cool. <laughs> Not worth it. Ooh, another delete. Lots of shit there I can grab. Stuff. Blade arrow cool. Pretty good. And I think that is it. Don't worry. If you do if you do miss announcements like that, I will I will be bringing it up. With I will bring it up in like all the places I can bring it up. Don't worry about that. But yeah, I am hoping next starting next week to uh, be doing the streams an hour later. Let's roll some dip cards. So what this will be. 10 chaos! Oh my gosh! <laughs> App. Offering. Map. Each map. Fragment. Total ignorance. Oh, that's the 25C one. Yay, valuable. That makes up for the one that I did not get, because uh, I didn't have enough tribute. <laughs> What else do we have for Deliriums? Albert Temple. Add one more thing to that. Arabs. Add. Uh, oh, let's add some Alter. This time I can actually use Searing X Arch. Okay.
Ugh, chill. Already? Hi, Kosis. I guess, yes, you can be the first thing I fight in this map. Sure, why not? Oh, that's a beam. That's a laser. I don't like lasers. Okay, I like lasers when I have them. I don't like it when other people have lasers. Mainly when they're shooting them at me. I don't like that. No. Oh, I must have blocked uh, damage from because I got my uh, loyalty tattoo to activate. Love the loyalty a tattoo. Highly, highly suggest that uh, pretty much no matter what your build is, you look into getting a loyalty tattoo built. Because they take... You, you have to sacrifice one small attribute passive, and that's it. Or, like, a fairly powerful... Only get one of them, so... Um... Uh, no. Why? Oh no, he's crit resistant. That's why I was doing no damage. I'm like... 100% crit. Something. I'm supposed to be 100% crit, but I'm not there yet, I don't think. That's 71. I mean, that's pretty darn high, but like... Not very high for a crit build. Hey, lots of things going on here. Ah, uh, nope. Might as well call them rude beasts, not red beasts, since they're rude. Eat comedy. Okay. I will take four Awakened Sextants, that sounds great. Uh, oh. Okay, Monolith, let's see how this goes. This build isn't really, like, designed for Monolith, so we'll see. See if I can, how well I can do loot. Oh, a war horde, war horde! Yes! Oh my gosh, I got a divination war horde. Oh, that's awesome. That was subpar. <laughs> oh well. Other thing I got was that a war horde too? No, it's no more. It isn't everything. That's nice. One splinter, oh boy. Better take that to the bank before I lose it. Let me just, I'll just dump these. Ow. I need to get a. I need to find a decent essence that I can put my remnant of corruption on. That's interesting. Looking at the stream right now, so I get this weird flashing sometimes when, like, I load into areas, like the screen's flickering. And it does not show in the recording or on the stream. From looks like. like it just happened when I came in, and I was just watching the stream and it's not showing at all, which is weird. Must have something to do between the connection between my graphics card and my monitor. That's fair. My graphics card's always been a bit fucky.
I'm not 100% happy with my graphics card, I will say. Yeah, it was, it was happening in seven days as well, I remember now. Like, in the last stream. I wonder if changing the the uh, um, DVI or HDMI core help from using HDMI. I might swap it and see if that helps because it's just my main monitor that's flickering, not the other one. Okay. Too many beasts. Okay, pentagon. Drop an orbit on making. I'll take that. Sure, I don't care if things are a bit tankier. It certainly doesn't feel tankier. I guess I just do that much damage. I'd really love to find an essence that has three three essences on it, and at least two of them need to be essences. Or deafening. So I don't think I'm gonna find deafening essence. Not easily at least. You don't usually see deafening essences in the wild in my so I also don't use essence passives. Maybe it's more common if you use the essence passives. Okay, now I can do as much else around. In the oh, that was a good time for the bottle of faith. Lots of explosions. Where I saw a mob person. Maybe there was a Stygian uh, spire there. Okay, that's a lot in that doorway. Don't bottleneck me. I'm the one who bottlenecks. On all the delirium mouth. And use the bottleneck. <laughs> oh, there's another red beast here. Eesh. Care what I can. Red beast. Actually, I feel like the red beast has noticed I'm here. Away totem. 
How to clear out the totem. Very dangerous. Well, not themselves on their own, but they are very dangerous when in conjunction with monsters. Nope. 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 Oop. Yeah. That. Oh, it's the exile. Exile with delirium shit. I don't remember most of the uh most of the reward of this map is currently with the boss. That's a lot of shit. I'm gonna back up. For a second, I was like, wait, I can't have monsters near me because of the chaos filled. And I was like, no, it's like two maps ago. <laughs> you ever do that sometimes where you're just like, oh no, this thing that I had was concerned about, but like way, way earlier. Oh, Omni? Least of my worries. Back here. I have a terrible, terrible idea for a Path of Exile League. Like, I don't even think I would enjoy this. <laughs> but it would certainly be interesting. Is if you took, like, the Dark Souls style invasions, uh, like the invasion mechanic where like you can join someone else's game and like fight them, but like you could take over the body of an exile, like of a rogue exile, and like fight with their abilities. Like it sounds awful to like actually deal with in a map, but it does sound kind of funny. Especially considering PvP scaling is very just like it wouldn't be too too it wouldn't be good, but like eh I don't know, it just sounds funny. This isn't so bad. And bolt cross isn't a bad ability. Fight that. I just need to walk away. I actually really like that the uh, Delirium abilities lock the monster in place, because oftentimes the Delirium ability does less damage or is less dangerous than the monster itself. Stacked up. One of those is Bolt Cross. That one's Shock Bomb. Okay. Well, it doesn't Ooh, synthesized map, ultra distant memories. Yep, 25C. Those are fun. Uh, wait, which one was that? Augmented. I haven't done augmented for the forgotten yet. That's good. I need that map. I wonder how I'm ever going to be able to do this. It's like an achieve. Uh, it's like an invitation. Because the Uber Elder, Ula, Vapor, and Uber at Ziri all together sound kind of awful. <laughs> I don't know how anyone could actually do this. Like, I know people can. 
don't understand. Like, functionally, the only way I could imagine it would work is if your build just trivializes their mechanics, like, you need to build to, like, one-shot them, basically. I mean, Ayul is not too dangerous if you can just instantly kill him. Oh, there's a... Oh my gosh! There's a hideout here! I found a hideout! I found death! Well... Ow! That only leaves a few portals left. Uh, anyone in my chat who plays Path, you are welcome to come for this hideout. You get first first dibs, and since you're one of my chat people, it is free. So speak up if you care, and I will add you to the map. I have to figure these out later. I'd one of these. It'll fit in the nine chaos tab. That's fine. Get yeah, nothing over. Now let's go get rid of that red bee. Oh, it's a rogue metamorph. That's what's going on. It does explain why it was so dangerous. Oh, that's Crossbolt. I need to... Crossbolt's not dangerous if you just walk out of the way. Don't walk out of the way. It's dangerous. <laughs> Oh, there is a red beast here. Okay, so this is the Immaculate Hideout. Kind of sad that I have all the hideouts now. Or like all the free to play hideouts. Like I I kind of I kind of miss that feeling of like, oh my gosh, I found a new hideout. The Immaculate Hideout? Oh! Divine Orb! Divine Orb! Divine Orb! Yeah! Not as is customary. Oh, that's nice. Yeah! I love doing that. Oh god, I need to be careful, because like, if the server just shuts off, and I have it on the ground, that would suck. What is this thing called again? Immaculate Hideout. Their public party. The Immaculate Hideout. Okay, good. I am I am in the right level or right act for this. Okay, so leave the portal in here. And I can do it outside. Metamorph. Map fragment. Armor 30% or brief. Oh, 
Probably the rare arm. Oh, I should go out of DD. I should also speak in party, or they will not know that I'm talking to them. That would help. Oh, this is March the Leap? Portal Lock? Oh. How do I turn off portal lock again? That's in the friend tab here. Oh, this is this is an Aurobot. You know what? Let's have a pet Aurobot. <laughs> why why not have some fun? How strong is this bird? 97, actually, yeah. <laughs> you know what? We've been streaming for 2 hours and 40 minutes. Oh! It's probably time to end it anyways. Oh, we did great today. We managed to... We did some gambling. We killed both our first... We killed our first elder, our first witnessed elder, and our first shaper. A bunch of delirious maps and such. Killed two elder guardians. We did pretty good. Definitely. So, thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. For everyone who is here and has been here, I always appreciate your presence. It makes the stream so much more fun for me. It makes the game so much more fun for me. Always nice to be able to talk to. Uh, a reminder to like and subscribe, follow the channel if you're interested. Uh, I also have a video that just came out on the YouTube channel if you want to uh, watch it. It is from the ga the uh, last stream where we did some gambling. Put it up in chat. And I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.